Hey everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to the channel. I apologize in advance for my voice, I lost it over the weekend and I'm just barely starting to get it back, um, so bear with me. This is part zero of the Build a Shopify app series, but it's recorded after the first couple of parts of the series were already done. The reason I'm making this video is because Shopify has updated their CLI template and API version and it's now quite a bit different than what you'll see in the series. This is normal and they will be pushing more updates in the future as well. So I wanted to make it clear that the concepts you'll learn in this series can still be applied going forward. The concepts around using the admin API, Polaris components, and everything else we go over will still be applying to this new update. So I will continue to use the previous API and template version to finish up the series just for the sake of continuity. If you wanna follow along exactly with what I'm doing and learn the same concepts that are applied no matter what template you're using, then you can fork my repo that I'll link in the description. It's the exact repo I'm using for the series. It's based off just the previous API and template version and each of the branches lines up with a video in the series. For example, uh, for part two where we go over the admin API, you'll see there's a branch called part two admin API and that has the final state of the code base after all the changes are made at the end of that video. I'll make another video probably just after this series going over the changes in the new template and API and there are also a few changes you'll notice in the Shopify documentation that line up with these updates. But again, if you follow along with my videos and the repo that I'm using, then you'll learn all of these concepts and be able to transition to the new template and API afterwards. I haven't dove deep into the new updates yet, but it looks like they abstracted a good amount away in order to make things simpler and more straightforward. So understanding how things work a bit more under the hood will be really beneficial as well. There are also other unofficial templates that are very popular that you can transition to and find all the same concepts that we cover in this series. So the specific template isn't very important. So to recap, the template that is generated from the Shopify CLI is now different than what you'll see in this series, and it's using a newer version of the Shopify API. But if you fork my repo and follow along with me, you'll come out the other end with a small working app, an understanding of how a Shopify app works, and the ability to pivot to the new template or another one without much trouble. Thank you everyone for watching, and the next video, which really is part three of the series, will be out soon.